So you purchase your router, you've recut your SIM card, and you get home, you plug in your router, then what? What to expect? What do you what do you have to look for? Um, how do you or where do you get started? So basically you plug in your router, simple as that. Um, there's a switch at the back here next to um, the AC adapter where, it, where the AC adapter goes in. So there's on and off. So sometimes you might plug in your, your router and it's not powering on. Just need to make sure that the switch is pushed all the way up. And then your router will show the power button is blue. And uh, that means your router is on. So in this case, as I'm showing you this, my power button is blue. Wi-Fi key is not showing, or in some case it might show. And my 3G, 4G is red. So what does it mean if your 3G, 4G is red? That means there is no signal. As you can see, the signal is, uh, there is not even one bar. So I've just took the SIM card out purposely just for demonstration purposes. So you can see I have a power button is blue. The Wi-Fi key is blue, but my 3G, 4G is red and there's no signal. So that means there's no signal and basically you, you can't get any 3G or 4G, um, <clears throat> sorry, 3G or 4G or internet rather. Okay. So what you need to do in that case, you just need to check if your SIM card is inserted one correctly. Two, uh, there's nothing distracting the SIM card. So to do that, you just need to switch off your router. Take the AC, uh, AC adapter out. I normally like to do that. Make sure your SIM card is inserted correctly. And, oh, sorry. And you take your power adapter back on, switch the power button on, just like that. And so what you're doing, you're basically resetting it to read your SIM card. If you were, uh, yeah, you've inserted the SIM card not correctly. Then you basically wait for it to reboot and all of that. While you're waiting, while you're waiting for this to reboot, let's just go underneath your, your router. So obviously after everything is working, you need to connect your devices into the internet or the Wi-Fi. And there's two passwords. The first one it says LAN key. The other one it says uh, website password. So basically the one that you're gonna use to log in into your Wi-Fi is the one that's written LAN key. However, if that's not working, of which it should, if it's not working, just try the other one which says website password and make sure these passwords are very cap sensitive. So make sure you write them exactly as they are. Um, and if you just want to change the name of your router, like to put it into whatever name that you prefer. So basically, if you go to your Wi-Fi and you see whatever name that you want. So like, for an example, to call your router ABC and you know that the ABC is your router. So you need to log in into your IP address um which is also under device man device manager password that's where your ip address and then you're going to use one of those passwords which says website password to log in today then obviously you go to settings and all of that but that should be um that's a, another video itself so <laughs> let's get back here so you've reset your password sorry you've reset your router you make sure your sim card is correct everything is installed proper and now your power button is blue, Wi-Fi, it's blue. Now you can see your 3G, 4G is now blue and your signal strength is blue. So now you have your signal, which is good. You have internet or data. That's why your 3G, 4G is blue. You know it's good. Your Wi-Fi, if it flashes like this, that means there they is or there are devices which are already connected to this device. So in this case, my phone is connected to this device. However, in a situation where this 
3G or 4G light is green, not red, not blue, but green. That in most cases, that means there is no data or you are out of data on your, on your SIM card. So best thing is, I know multi-choice is an issue. It's a pain in and to deal with bad customer service, but you will have to contact them so that they can load data on your SIM card. Or in other cases of which I've experienced this before, when I purchased this router, you've to freak out your SIM card, everything is in order on your side. It's just that you, you don't get internet and this 3G, 4G um, light is green. So in that case, there might be an issue with when they were registering your, your device, it was not registered or things like that. It does happen. You just need to be patient and um, contact multi. In fact, not even don't even contact them. I suggest go straight to multi choice service center. It will be way quicker than contacting multi choice. So, however, if everything is blue, you are good to go. Just plug in your devices and uh, enjoy streaming. Um, on the top here, basically, I, I never use these buttons, but there's LAN button and WPS. And then you have your reset button in case of any issues you have to reset. You just put a pin, press this button, the reset button. I did talk about this, and I'm sure everyone knows what underneath here is for. And then at the back, you have two, um, two phone ports. Phone one and phone two, if you were to connect your phone, and then you have four LAN cables or LAN ports, or other way you can connect your laptop using a LAN uh, LAN cable or connect other devices using a LAN cable. The nice thing about this is you can connect up to thirty-two devices on this, up to thirty-two devices. And uh, honestly speaking, this thing has been amazing um it had never gave me problems with signal it had never gave me problems um at all i like it the only issue it makes uh which makes this thing not enjoyable is the customer service or the service that you will get at multi-choice because keep in mind they still new uh in internet they this is their new uh products that they are now offering so they not yet understand what exactly is going on here um but other than the bad customer service that you will get at multi-choice and things like that this product is has been amazing um and the, the reason i'm saying that uh, i was using rain before of which, I mean, rain is good, but the issue with rain, or the issue that I had with rain, it was the signal. It was very poor. I would sometimes not being able to even use the device, um, rain uh, device because of the, of the signal or network rather. So I decided to actually try the DSTV. And I never, since then, I never had problem with my signal. I'm getting like 14 point something megabyte per second. I'm getting more than 14 megabyte per second in some cases. And I can stream uh, 1080p, no problem on HD. Um, unfortunately, I, can, I can't talk much about uh, 4K, 4K because I don't have a 4K TV, but I can stream in 1080p smooth, no problem. Netflix, no problem. So yeah um i believe this video did answer um some of your questions that you were asking on uh, on the comments on that previous video um if you have more questions please don't hesitate to actually leave a comment i'll try my best to answer and uh, i have been answering almost all the comments on the previous video and uh yeah, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share with your friends and family. I hope I was able to assist you wherever I could or wherever I can. If you have any 
any other questions please let me know i'll do my best to answer them try to assist and if i don't know i'll do my best to find uh, information for you and actually respond um i hope you like the video please again do subscribe and until next time do have a lovely one and uh stay safe take care cheers